Hello and welcome back to section 4.3, part 2. Now yesterday I know you had a lot of fun with trig identities and evaluating trig functions at um, critical or kind of key angle measures. Today we're going to look at the applications of right triangles and using trig. Now when we are using or doing application type problems, we are typically going to be given one of two scenarios. The first one is where we're going to be given one side and one acute angle, and we are going to be finding the other side lengths, or we'll be giving two side lengths, and we're going to have to find the acute angles. Uh, and this, again, is based on right triangles so that you know that one of your angles then is always 90 degrees. Another thing that we kind of have to um, define, because sometimes we'll see this terminology in a problem, is what we call an angle of elevation. Now, an angle of elevation, if you have a person that's standing here, Actually, we'll make it a little person. Okay, the angle of elevation is going to be the angle that is coming off from the horizon and it's elevating or it's going upward. So the angle of elevation would be this angle in this direction. So this is elevation. On the opposite of that, we have what we call the angle of depression. And again, it's measured off the horizon, and it's the, the angle that is going downward off from the horizon, and it looks like this right here. So this would be the angle of depression. So now that we know what these two angles are, let's go ahead and look at a few examples. Example 7 says that a biologist wants to know the width W of a river in order to properly set instruments for studying the pollutants in water. From point A, the biologist walks downstream 70 feet and sights in point C. From this sighting, it is determined that theta equals 54 degrees. What we want to know is how wide is the river. So if we draw a sketch, this is kind of what we've got going on here. I'm standing at point A, looking down stream 70 feet to a point C. From this point, we can identify the angle theta, which is right here, is equal to 54 degrees, and we want to solve for the width, W. So let's identify first what's been given. We were given, and when I'm talking about what's given, I'm talking about in relation to theta. So I was given the angle theta itself and a side that is adjacent to. But I'm looking to solve the side opposite. So opposite, adjacent, and theta are all key pieces here. So I know if I want to find the opposite over the adjacent side lengths, that this is going to imply that I have to use the tangent of theta because tan theta equals the opposite over our adjacent sides. So now all I have to do is solve for theta. So I know that the, or I'm sorry, solve for the opposite side. So tan theta, and theta is going to be 54 degrees, is equal to the opposite side length, which is really W, divided by our adjacent side, or 70 feet. So if I go ahead and simplify this, I'm going to multiply both sides by 70, and I get 70 times the tangent of 54 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which is, again, really W. And if we want to approximate that, we'll see that we end up with 96 feet. So that river, then, is approximately 96 feet across. Now, if you don't get that, I want you to go back and double check. 54 is in degrees, not radians, so you do have to check that mode. And last but not least, example 8 says that a 12-meter flagpole casts a shadow that is 12 meters long. We want to find theta, the angle of elevation, to the sun. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to sketch a right triangle. So as I sketch this, I'm told that my flagpole is 12 meters tall, and we can even make this a nice little flagpole. OK, 
Okay, so I have some little flag here on this pole. So this pole is 12 meters, and it casts a shadow that is 12 feet long. Well, that tells me then that this distance here is 12 meters, and I want to find the angle of elevation to the sun. The angle of elevation, well, your sun is probably going to be up here somewhere, and let's see if we can find a different color. So here's our sun. Angle of elevation means that we are getting the angle that it's coming off from the horizon. So that means that I'm looking at this angle right here, and that is what we're trying to find. So, again, I'm going to look at what I'm given in relation to my angle theta. I see that I'm given an opposite side and an adjacent side. So I know that the trig function that deals with an opposite and an adjacent is tangent. So the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. Now if I plug in the values that have been given to me, I have tan theta is equal to 12 meters divided by 12 meters, or tan theta equals 1. And you can go about doing this in one of two ways. You can either do the inverse tangent of 1 to give you theta, or you can sit there and say that tangent of theta is really equal to the sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta. So in order for me to get 1, sine and cosine must be the same. So at what measure or what angle measure does sine equal cosine? And remember, it has to be an acute angle because I have a right triangle and it has to be acute. So sine equals cosine, and this is a good practice test for your unit circle quiz that's coming up, at increments of pi over 4 or 45 degrees. And because this is a story problem, you can go ahead and leave it as 45 degrees. And on that note, I would like to wish you a very good night on this less than 10 minute video. I hope you have been enjoying your college week and I will see you in class tomorrow. Thank you.